Salutations my Fallout lovers, it is Maddie here today with a Fallout 76 news update. Today we're going to be talking about NPC vendors and trading within Fallout 76. Following information comes from Pete Hines' Twitter account, I mean where else during this point in the hype cycle. So first of all a big shout out to Armitez who actually contacted me in the chat during a Twitch stream telling me he got some pretty cool info on player trading within Fallout 76 and then proceeded to tag me on Twitter after the stream had concluded. Big thanks to you, my friend. Now on to the info. So Armitez asked, can we have a system where we just give stuff to other players, like food, meds, etc? Pete responds, just trade it to them and don't charge anything for it, or leave it out for them. Armitez asks for further clarification, like in a drop box or you drop it at their feet, to which Pete says, or put it in a container or whatever. Yeah. So we've had discussions in the past about trading in Fallout 76. As far as we knew, you could be like a roving merchant and you could sell stuff to other players. But this kind of reminds me of like Fallout 1 or 2 where the way you equipped stuff for your companions was by trading with them technically. I do like the freedom of player trading. First, we're going to roll back the clock a little bit because I remember a little online game called RuneScape that I used to be obsessed with. And there used to be a time where you could hook your friends up, you could trade with people all the time. But then scamming started to become a thing and they started putting a cap on how much you could trade so for example if you put in a rune sword then you'd have to trade something of equal value to match up with what the rune sword had cost so seeing in Fallout 76 that free trade is just a thing like hey man I'm down a couple of stim packs you got any or hey that's a good gun for my build do you mind giving that to me stuff along those lines is great and I like the way you can do it where you can just drop the item on the ground and then your friend can pick it up one thing that is very minor to a lot of people but for me I find it a very big deal is object interactivity in Bethesda Game Studios worlds. I love being able to touch every little item on every single countertop. When I drop a weapon, I know it's mine to pick up. There's just that accessibility with everything, and I'm glad that doesn't go away just because there's a bunch of people running around in an online world where I could drop a gun, and maybe someone all the way on the other side of the map can make their way to where I am later on in their adventures and pick up that gun. That could be actually a really cool moment. So this scoop was done by Juicehead, so shout out to him, but he had picked up on a sign in the QuakeCon 2018 trailer that it indicated an area was being used for trading. So when confronted about that on Twitter, P9s had responded that that particular one was already in game and not placed by a player. It's one spot where you can find a trader that isn't another player. And then Pedons went on to say that there are vendors in lots of places. I trade far more with vendors than I do with real players, but that's partially due to the way I play. Now, I don't know about you guys, but this is huge confirmation. If you remember a while ago in one of my many Fallout 76 discussion videos, I had brought up the fact that it would be cool to be a roving merchant, but who's going to want to do that six months, eight months down the line? There are going to be people who just want to engage in the brand new content, the new missions that Bethesda is bringing out. So that solution with NPC vendors being there is so, so crucial that I can sell my junk, sell my extra weapons. And the fact that there's not just one vendor, but in fact a bunch scattered around the map is also very important because there is that PvP aspect that can get in the way. And if a bunch of players are constantly grouping up in the same area, it becomes a PvP hotspot. No one wants to trade with the NPC vendor. It becomes frustrating. So I do like the addition of NPC vendors. I imagine they're going to be robots. It's not going to be a human or anything like that because we already know all the humans in Fallout 76 or actual players. Could it be a mutant? Who knows? That'd be a little nice change of pace, maybe. But uh, I'm not gonna hold my breath, you know? But anyway, that's all the brand new information I got for you guys today. I'd love to hear your thoughts on NPC vendors and trading within Fallout 76 in the comments down below. Other than that, be sure to follow me on Twitter, like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description down below, along with my Patreon. Do consider supporting that as it fuels all the content I create here. Stay sexy, stay active. I love you all. Peace.